I'm Racer Magazine's Marshall Pruitt. Let's take a look inside IMSA's fascinating new hybrid GTP cars. Continuing our GTP 101 tech video series, we move on to something we've never seen before in IMSA, and that's silent launches from pit lane. These EV launches make use of the hybrid GTP car's battery power and motor generator units to exit their respective pit stalls. By using the energy storage system to launch, drivers receive instant torque and experience a brief moment of drag racing style acceleration until the pit lane speed limit is reached. IMSA had a three second limit for maximum EV power to be deployed for those launches, but a new software update was written to remove a time limit in case the GTP car is balked and needs to reaccelerate on its way out to the fast lane. In most instances, Teams will instruct their drivers to use electric power to pull away from their pit stalls and then activate the internal combustion engine, the ICE as it's known, once they hit the speed limit of 60 kph or 37.3 miles per hour, and then use the traditional engine to carry them the rest of the way down pit lane until they re-enter the track. IMSA has given its GTP teams the freedom to choose how they exit their pit stalls. Some might prefer to launch on e-power, use the battery until they've cleared pit lane, most will likely go with that combination of an EV launch before firing up the ice, and some might just might try to do the entirety of pit lane on battery power, although that could be a rarity. They're also welcome to use electric propulsion as they enter pit lane and rely on the battery to take them to their box. That, too, has been a rarity. And unlike what we've seen over the last 15 or 20 years, where top prototypes use an auto-ignition system that starts the car the moment its tires touch the ground. IMSA has banned such things, leaving EV or ICE launches solely in the hands of the driver to initiate. The only place where the use of e-power isn't welcome is in the Daytona garages. With fans present for the event, IMSA has instructed its GTP teams to either push, tow, or use the internal combustion engine when coming or going from the garages to ensure fans can hear the Acuras, BMWs, Cadillacs, and Porsches and move out of their way when necessary. Thanks for watching and visit racer.com for more videos and stories about IMSA's exciting new hybrid GTP cars.